Okay, good day to my viewers and subscribers. Okay, so today we are doing a charging system check after replacing the uh, generator alternator uh, on my 2011 Suzuki SX4, two liter, six speed manual transmission. Yes, I only have 27,000 kilometers and maybe I never had a problem with this uh, generator in the first place. So let me just show the vehicle here. Yes, 27,000 kilometers, minus 21 degrees Celsius out uh, uh, late this morning. And uh, so there is the RPM right there, around maybe 600, 650, just guessing there. And everything is off in the vehicle, okay? So everything is off, e-brake is pulled up, neutral. Uh, everything is off, radio is off, heater, everything is off on the vehicle. So the e-brake is pulled up so the running lights aren't on. So um, now it shows 14 point, so I have a little, uh, uh, accessory adapter there 12 volt accessory adapter that has two posts and you can see I've got my well this isn't a voltmeter I guess it's a multimeter set on the uh, um, 20 volt um, DC setting there and as we can see 14.28 volts okay so I'm going to show you something interesting here okay so now let us turn on what would be typical here why don't we turn on the heater to the second fan speed setting okay Again, the AC is off, okay, so it's not, uh, it's one, if you put it on defrost floor or full defrost, it will run the uh, compressor, so if it's one away from that, it will not cycle the AC compressor, okay. So there we go, heater is on uh, number two, then um, the second fan setting, uh, and that's what the voltmeter is showing right here, 14.26 volts, okay. Let me just step on the brake and release the uh, e-brake. Uh, so the running lights are on now. And as you can see, we're looking at about 13 point, yeah, about 14 volts there, okay? So, uh, yeah, about the same, about 14.2, okay? So this is at idle, the vehicle fully warmed up, like fully warmed up, okay? So let me just uh, pull up the e-brake. So front uh, running lights are off and my foot is off the brake, okay? So then let's do um, something that would be typical, turning on the uh, front headlights, okay? So now the front headlights are on. As we can see the voltmeter there, bouncing a bit there. Fan speed is still on the second uh, setting there. And as you can tell, we're at 14.2. Idle, we are looking at uh, still around uh, 650. I don't know if you can make that out. So around 650, 6, 650 uh, revolutions per minute RPM there. And showing 14.2. So to recap, front headlights are on and the heater is on the second setting, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we are going to put a full load on this. I'm going to turn the heater up to four. I'm going to turn the rear defog on and I'm going to turn my fog lights on. Okay. And we're at idle. So let's do this. Okay. Fan all the way up on four. Rear uh, defog is on and the uh, front fog lights. So front fog lights, fan on four, rear defog. And let's see what we have here. We are down. Now, kind of thinking, okay, she's just running off battery power now, so let's just see how many seconds this is. And we are still at, uh, at RPM there. Oh, the RPMs are now starting to rise. And, okay, my foot is off the accelerator, so you can see my foot, it's off the accelerator. We are at 14.07, and look at the RPMs. The RPMs are up to about 900 RPM. Just under 1,000 here, or maybe 950, okay? So again, to recap, the headlights are on, the rear, uh, the front fog lights are on, fan speed is on full, on four, and the rear defog and heated mirrors are on. Uh, RPM is at around just under a thousand and what does our voltmeter show? 14.07, 14.8, so just above 14 volts, so we'll just leave it um, 
stabilized for a minute there. And the purpose of this video is uh, to uh, see if any other SX4 owners um, have the alternator acting the same way. Now this is of course replaced by an alternator or generator that I bought from Rock Auto. Um, it's an 80 amp one, whereas the original one was 75 amps. I still have to bench test that one um, uh, to see if, if there's any problems with it. Because uh, when I replaced it, I was down to about 12.2 volts and I don't, I, I don't know if, if uh, I let it idle enough. Uh, and, and I didn't know if it idled up for me. So the whole purpose of, the, of this uh, video that I'm making is again to recap is to uh, inform other Suzuki SX4 owners that hey you know does your vehicle act the same way. So again we can see that with the full all the loads on at idle it's still okay foot off the accelerator okay see there's my right foot I'm off the accelerator pedal there RPMs are still just under a thousand we still have the front uh, fog lights on the headlights on the heater on for and the rear defog and we're showing that's the voltage we're showing so I think that's within spec so let me just uh, rev the engine just up a little bit to uh, let me just rev it up to 1500 there. Okay, that's about 1500 right there. No, actually, no, sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit hard for me to modulate this with all this noise in the vehicle here. Okay. So, yeah, it's still keeping 14.02. Okay, so let's go idle it back. So, again, my foot is off the accelerator. We're back to about the usual 900 uh, RPM. Just to make sure you can take a look at that right there. And as you can tell, we're at 14 point, around 14 volts. So now what we're going to do is we are going to remove all the loads. So I'm going to turn everything off. Okay, so rear defog off, fan off, headlights off fog lights off okay so fog lights off headlights off um, heater off rear defog heated mirrors off and the vehicle so 14.2 volts let's let that stabilize and our rpm is still at around 900 rpm so we'll see how long it'll take back to get down to about 6 650 so it's 754 right now so this is a really boring video, but I just wanted to show this live. Um, of course, uh, I will put timestamps on it, so uh, you don't have to watch the whole video here because this is pretty boring. But I, I believe it's important to catch the um, uh, catch it live to see what's uh, what's happening here. Because originally I thought, oh boy, I'm at 12.2 volts. Well, that's no good. That's that's just sucking the juice out of the battery so again just to confirm a new uh, generator uh, via Rock Auto uh, Remy and uh, and of course I forgot to mention as well as, as well as a new battery that I tested as well um, uh, interstate battery as well so new alternator new battery and when I mean new alternator it's new new components the entire uh, generator is new as well as the uh, battery is new as well so uh, we are still at, uh, uh, okay, one second here. Oh, I think that was the cooling fan that came on. I think that was the cooling fan that came on. And I think the cooling fan just uh, just turned off. So, uh, okay, and we are slowly down to, and take a look at that. We are back down to uh, about 600 RPM. So whatever that time uh, was, I think what's happening is is the um, battery is now uh, fully charged, and that's why it's um, it's uh, it dropped down to the usual there. So again, no load at all, and that's where we're at. So let me. Uh, so this is with. Uh, with uh, with nothing loaded on the vehicle so let me just turn on the uh, fan speed on 
the second setting here just to it is minus 21 outside degrees Celsius so yeah I kind of need the heater on okay and to uh, simulate uh, at night usually of course I have my headlights on and let's say with the heater uh, so let me turn the headlights back on so these are lights headlights let me go back down here RPM is still at around 6 650 so that seems to be uh, charging uh, all right we're above looks like we're we're always above maintaining at least a minimum of 14 volts and that's uh, the RPMs right there so yeah I guess I didn't finish my sentence there so I think what's happening is when you uh, place a load on it a full load on the vehicle here then uh, uh, it uh, on the electrical system uh, then uh, it and I'm not too sure if this is the ECU directing the uh, the generator or is it the um, the regulator that um, that senses that the battery is being drained and it needs to charge the battery and therefore the engine increases RPM. I don't know how the engine RPM increases. So um, if someone has some insight in that, please do leave a comment uh, below. So other than that, I think this is uh, everything is working, uh, working uh, within spec here. Okay, so again, headlights on, rear um, fan on, on the second speed and we're still maintaining around 650 RPM and we're above 14 volts okay so I'm gonna turn the headlights off and um, now we just have the fan on okay so um, I just wanted to make this uh, this video uh, sh documenting uh, how, how the voltmeter acts and the engine RPM under various load conditions so if this is helpful to someone then great um, and please do leave your uh, comments uh, in the comment section and as always I appreciate you uh, uh, taking the time to watch my uh, video videos and uh, to my subscribers and my viewers thank you and wishing uh, you all a great day thanks for watching